morning. It's Tuesday, June 21st. I'm Tom Elliott and this is my market report. Well, stock markets have been uh, pretty horrible recently. The Australian market in particular fell below 4,500 points, which has been the bottom end of its trading range over the past 20 months now. Essentially, our market has been going sideways for the best part of two years. Uh, this morning, however, a bit of optimism around. Our market's up around 1% to 4,500 points. Now, there are two reasons for this. First up, the Dow Jones index was up around 0.6% last night. But secondly, and possibly more importantly, it looks like the EU is inching closer to some sort of solution of the Greek debt crisis. Now, this crisis is not so bad if it's only just in Greece, but of course the problem is that if uh, the, Greece, or the Greek problem blows up, then you'll have uh, Italy, Ireland, Portugal, Spain, all these other heavily indebted countries potentially going under as well. The EU doesn't want to see that happen. Any solution probably has to involve the Germans agreeing to prop up the Greek economy. They're already bailing it out anyway. Uh, billions of euros going down the drain. Anyway, we will see. Locally, bank stocks are stronger because, of course, if a uh, banking crisis did occur in somewhere like Greece, or at least a government debt crisis, that would be terrible for European banks. And that sort of sentiment has been washing over our banks. If it's sorted out, well, you can imagine that bank stocks will go up. Now, locally, there's a fair bit of uh, takeover action. Now, uh, Dad and I have uh, spoken extensively in the past about the possibility of a foreign bid for Fosters. Well, this morning it's finally happened. SAB Miller, one of the uh, potential acquirers of the company that we have identified in the past, has uh, made a $4.90 per share bid for the company. It's been immediately rejected by Fosters board as being too cheap. Uh, you recall that uh, Fosters has demerged recently from its wine business. Uh, $4.90 a share isn't enough to get the board interested. In my view, any bidder will probably have to pay around $5.30. Other potential bidders include, of course, Molson uh, and Grupo Modelo, which brews Corona beer in Mexico. And, of course, Asahi in Japan is a potential bidder also. So Foster shares were trading uh, well north of $4.90, currently $5.06 a share. Clearly, the market is expecting more bidding action to occur. Uh, some people say this is a bit sad. It will be the, uh, I guess the end of an Aussie-owned icon being Foster's. It will almost certainly fall into foreign hands, as Lion Nathan did, uh, being taken over by Kieran almost two years ago. But that is the way of the world these days. There's a big global corporations, and they are snapping up other businesses all around the world. Also in takeovers, Woodside Petroleum. Now, it is uh, down 20% from a peak just a few weeks ago, falling below $40 yesterday, down from $48 just several weeks ago when people thought it too would be taken over. Woodside's been hammered because it downgraded uh, the start date for its Pluto gas project in northwestern Australia, and it also upgraded the cost by almost $1 billion. So big cost blowouts are not something the market likes. That's the reason Woodside shares have been hammered. However, they are up today because as many people think that BHP, which is one of the potential acquirers of Woodside, will use the current price weakness to launch a bid. We'll have to see. Interestingly, BHP shares are up 59 cents at 41.95. Rio Tinto shares up as well. And on the gas side, Santos and oil search shares are stronger. So it's probably more a case of just overall optimism in the market. However, I do think BHP is the natural owner of Woodside. And you know, Shell, of course, still owns 20% of Woodside, which of course bought many years ago. Shell is an acknowledged seller of that stake and as a result uh, we'll look to sell it to the highest bidder. As I said, I expect that to be BHP. Finally, uh, I'm going downstream when it comes to oil. Caltech shares uh, were hit hard yesterday. They downgraded their profit due to uh, all sorts of issues at their refineries in uh, New South Wales and Queensland. Today, however, the stock is higher because refining margins in Singapore are a little stronger. Caltex is one of those stocks, it probably should be taken over, but then again, oil refining is not something Australia is good at. Its refineries, in fact, all of our refineries are far too small, and uh, over time, many people think they'll be shut down with all petrol refining taking place out of Asia. Again, not good for the local industry, but that is the way of the world. Look forward to your company again, same time next week.